Steven and I are going to Anacortes this weekend. I have the ASA 101 sailing lesson class for two days down there. I have been studying and it's tomorrow morning. Uh, I don't think I'll pass the written test, but that is fine. It is not a pass or fail, it is to get the experience. I'm good at homework, bad at tests, so that's kind of what I expect no matter how much studying I've been doing. But that is okay, I studied, I learned some stuff, I know what to expect, and now I just need someone who has like 30 years under their belt to teach me a little bit more than Steven, who has taken the classes and knows what he's doing, but also he's new at it. So I need someone who isn't trying to learn and teach at the same time. Hopefully that will help with my anxiety on the boat because last time I had a panic attack just trying to leave the dock. The problem is though, uh, it's an hour drive and I don't do well with all forms of travel. I've been in over 13 car accidents, only one in which I was driving and it was the other person's fault. So, and that was a pretty bad one. That was the one where they ran a stop sign and I landed on their windshield from me being on a motorized Vespa. It, it was a scooter, but it wasn't Vespa, but so that you guys get a picture of what it is. And I actually got a new Vespa scooter thing after that accident and driving back from getting it licensed, someone tried to hit me with their van. <laughs> So that was pretty much the end of it for me. I wasn't, I wasn't taking no more chances. I was in a lane and they were trying to merge into my lane and I had nowhere to go other than off a cliff. So that was really scary and I beeped my horn and they didn't hear me and it was, it was very close call. So I, I was pretty much done after that. The point is, is that uh, I'm nervous about travel. We are gonna be on the interstate for 30 minutes and then the freeway for 30 minutes. And apparently that freeway is where a lot of tomfoolery goes on, so that's not great. I need to make sure I pack everything. Not too worried about that. We have a dog sitter coming, but we need to wear out the dogs today. We're gonna stay a couple nights in Anacortes rather than having to drive back and forth because it is so hard on me, which thankfully Steven, you know, not only paid for the boating school, but also the hotel, so <laughs> thank you. Thank you, my love. Uh, but yeah, this is gonna be a little vlog style today. Enjoy. Uh, I'm kind of just now realizing how much there is to do today. I didn't think I was going to be this busy because I just cleaned the house yesterday. I need to food prep some food so that it lasts longer because cooked food lasts longer than raw food, I think. I still want to study a little bit more, do the laundry, walk dogs. There's some other shit. It's a little busy. That's just before feed time. You mentioned. And she needs help. All right, so I need to start packing for the trip. And because I live in the Pacific Northwest, it says raining, but some of you may know, summer 65s is not the same as winter 65s, and the amount of rain is TBD. I seriously wish that I had Diamond to do a voiceover for me, but since I don't, I'm gonna do the best I can. So I'm gonna start out with the pants. They're all leggings. So on this side, I do have a pair of gym pants, actual athletic wear. And that is due to the fact that these offer more warmth. This offers more water resistance. These offer less support, but as you can see, no wires, super comfortable, still hold the boobies. If I think I won't be needing a hat but a hood is a good idea, this one. If I need something quick and easy to tie around my waist that won't drag, this one. This is just a nice warm sweater and it goes up to my neck so it keeps me extra warm and it fits loose and it's got a little pocket for the center. Options are important. Alright, let's take these away. There's a possibility for Steven and I to go out at least twice this weekend. That can go with a pair of black leggings. And if it miraculously turns out nice this weekend, I've come prepared. And with my clothes properly packed, Steven's got plenty of room for all of his shit. Hope he can find a corner.
myself and keep calm and the car has gotten worse. It, it has lessened. I am I am doing worse in a car ride than I was a year ago when we went to Seattle, drove to Seattle. Yes. Yeah. Um, I mean, it makes sense. I... There's a stoplight on a highway, which I've never encountered before. Um, I'm from Nebraska. There was no stoplights on the highway. I just forgot everything I was going to say. Uh, yeah, so apparently I'm getting worse. <laughs> and, it, and it makes sense because I do avoid traveling in the car as much as possible. I again upset stomach and it's literally just the fact that Steven won't be there with me and like I know they're gonna make us do the hi I'm my name is and blah 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 and I, do, I don't like doing that I hate it I just want to take the test and be taught but I know that's not how it's gonna work and then like I'm worried about I just wish Steven was with me I think I don't like doing things alone and, but Steven said, today is just a job and today's job is just sailing and you'd think that I could do that, but it's like the interaction with people I don't want to do, but it's the interaction with people that I need for the experience of the sailing, so. You need time and confidence on a boat when I am not there. Time and confidence on a boat when he is not there. I'm 40 years old. I don't know when I started deteriorating into a woman child. That is it. Is. <laughs> they made it look like old can of salmon. 50 chance on the other two. It's a cool boat. Yep. I've seen a lot of for sale boats. Yep. Not sailboats, but for, for sale boats. Yep. A lot harder to, a lot easier to buy a boat than it is to sell a boat. You know, travel around the world on a smaller, smaller boat than that. But no, this is about the size I was thinking. Yeah, no, that's, that's all right. You want to have some space inside, it's wider than the middle. Better. Okay, this back part I'm blanking on it now. What is this back pace? Uh, well, this is like a sugar, this is called a sugar scoop. Yeah, but this back part is called something. Uh, this, uh, this one? No, <laughs> maybe you need the class again. <laughs> How big do you think this one is? Uh, I don't know. It's probably this looks like a 42. It's probably 40 foot, yeah. uh, New development. Apparently it is a class of one. So as soon as I go in there, it is all attention on me, which not what I wanted. <laughs> uh, I passed. How many did you miss on yours? On that test, zero. And I just, I, I mixed up two because I, put it in the wrong spot I didn't it was it was an accident mess up so three to his zero I was hoping I'd get a hundred honestly even if I failed he was like well you have to get 80 80 percent and I was sitting here going well me and you just discussed that no one has to have a license to drive a sailboat so it's uh, 80 it's to, you have to pass the test to get the 101 certificate but you well, the certificate doesn't fucking actually mean shit in the long scape of things. No, it does not. <laughs> it, it does, no one's going around checking your certificate. It's not, not to drive the boat. If you wanted to rent a boat, then then people care. But yeah. but owning your own boat, it doesn't matter. Yeah. But education is good. Yeah, I learned a lot in the class. Yep. Uh, the port tack and the starboard tack I had been using incorrectly. So. Uh, so it's a forty-five minute lunch break. 
and then we're gonna meet down there. I am the only person there and the winds are apparently 15 knots and the 101 class does not like to take the boat out in not anything. The students out. But the 101 class doesn't like to take the students out <laughs> in anything 15 or over. So depending, and he said because I am experienced, he might take me out actually. And I'm sitting there going, well, I'm, I'm really not experienced. Like, you don't, don't don't assume you that. You not fall off the boat. Yeah, just because I do all the answers of the discussion, like. But he's just saying you have sailing experience. And like I said, a lot of people taking that class have none. He expected me to have every answer in the discussions, too. Because we got. Because you're supposed to read the book. <laughs> well, no. How many people actually know all that? <laughs> You did, you got 80, you got 95%. <laughs> anyway, into Safeway. I, I popped into Safeway to get a water and they had banana cream pies, single little serving, 480 calories. Um, I'm gonna just say I needed sugar for brain power and stress release and whatever other excuse that will let you guys not judge me for this. Yum, yum, yum. Well, look, I'll show you guys. It's like one of these things. I'll give you guys a better view later. Anyway, I love this. Look at how, like, it's a seating spot where you can put your shoes and everything. Bags out of the way. Oh my God, look at that. It feels like it's from the 80s. Okay, anyway. Nice little refrigerator. We can get groceries. Beds, I can't tell if I love them or hate them. They just seem kind of like old school, huh? Nice little office space. Uh, but there's a problem. I think I forgot my camera bag. It's a bag specific for all my camera supplies. I was hoping to get some GoPro shots tomorrow. I need to charge my camera, download the SD stuff so I have plenty of room. And I think I just left it at home. There were not that many things to grab, but I think I missed one. So, uh, also, just so you guys know, I am like. <sighs> I think I'm at 1500 calories, 1637. What's 1200 minus, what's 1600 minus 12? That's, I'm over by 400. I'm over by 400, I'm over my maintenance by 100. So this shouldn't result in any weight gain. Um, this is something I would have done regardless and I wanna show if I continue on with my daily life and the things I do, not just strictly by my calorie deficit because it's perfect conditions. Sorry, my eyeballs itch right now. I got so much seawater in it. So I'm gonna keep it enjoyable and I am having a lot of fun. Yeah, so this is, I think it's a hotel. I think it's considered a hotel. It's like a beachside hotel. It's got a little bit of nostalgia. You get real keys and everything. See, real key. So we stopped and got some more water for me. That's when I had my banana cream pie, but this was 78 cents. It is 10 calories. 
It tastes amazing. I, I love this. I might have to be a strawberry cream signature select sparkling water girl. Uh, it turns out I forgot to bring a hairbrush. So, space buns it is. Alright, I know I brought a lot of outfits, but honestly, I'm exhausted. I'm going to eat and go to bed for a little bit. This is what we're wearing. I mean, you guys should guess it by now. I like a sweater and leggings. Good enough for Japanese food. Is it really fancy? It's a teriyaki place. It's a teriyaki place. I'm good. Look at all these hairy caterpillars. Just infested with all of them. Look at all that. Oh my goodness. Anybody know what kind these are? What is this? What is this? Oh my god, gross! Look at it! Ooh! What is going on there? Are they silkworms? They're not silkworms. Ooh, oh my god, ooh, oh look at that one. Both of ours. Same. You hungry? Apparently. <laughs> Apparently I didn't need to buy that one. No, don't worry, I'll help you. Someone added miso soup on top of all that. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> that looks gorgeous, thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> mm, yum, 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 yum. God, that looks good. That's the alarm. We got up an hour ago. I'm nervous. Uh, there is no coffee maker in this room, so we'll, we will be going somewhere to get me some coffee and some breakfast probably, and then stop by Safeway to get some lunch. The shower in this place is insanely good. Like it's the best shower I have ever seen in a hotel, like seriously. The pressure was like getting a mini massage and the heat probably could have boiled my skin if I let it, so like 20 stars for the shower, but now I need coffee. So zero stars for that. Um, I also like in my camera bag, packed my nicotine packets, my laptop charger, my hairbrush, all the stuff. So I'm, I'm missing quite a few things today, but it doesn't matter. The most important thing for today is coffee and sailing class. Let's go get that coffee. <laughs> See that, that is smoked salmon, fried eggs, some scallions, scallion, scallop, scallion. Avocado, white cheddar, ooh, yummy, yummy. I got some hash. What'd you get? I don't remember. You don't remember? Oh, that looks so good. I prioritized protein, but I also wanted some salmon and some potatoes. Yum, yum, yum. Now to drench this in ketchup. Alright, we picked up lunch. This is gonna be mine. Little uh, parfait. I had tons of protein this morning with salmon and egg and healthy fats with avocado and potatoes for some carbohydrates. Steven picked me this up yesterday, orange cream. Yesterday I had strawberry cream and these are amazing. These are Safeway brand. These taste so damn good. I think I think this is my new favorite thing, but yeah. Really excited for a parfait for lunch. All right, so we ended two hours early, but we did recovery drills. It was really rainy, really windy. We got pushed to like the other side of the shore and we had to motor for like an hour because we, we got so far just because of the current. I'm feeling really good. I think that I got out of it what I wanted to and the fact that it was crappy weather only made it better for me. We'll test this theory later this week. Goodbye, Anacortes. I'm driving again. Can't feel my face or your genuine guy. Hello. Hello. And it's all cause of you.
It's not feeding time, buddy. Good try, though.